Bang! Neves Knives, I'm Jared, and I think I just found the ultimate work knife. Um, I'm definitely going to be getting some for some friends to do construction and stuff because, one, it's a modern folding knife, right, with good action, um, bearings, captured um, bearings in the pivot, so it's very smooth. You have G10 scales, and the blade is mega thin. Look at how thin this is. I think it's like, like 56 thousands or something thick uh, stock, and the blades are replaceable. So they all come, each one comes with three replacement blades, and we'll check those out here in one second. And it's super easy to change, but like I said, the action is just like a modern knife. You have fantastic flipping action. All of them feel very consistent. I've sat here and went through no detent lash or anything from any of the four I have. The thumb stud is how you actually change the blade, but it works perfect as a thumb stud. Uh, the blade steel is 440, so it's going to be a downgrade from 440C. When you think of 440C, think 9CR. 9CR is basically 440C. 440 is going to be more like an 8CR, basically, you know, if you really want to just like quickly think about it. It's not 8CR, but that's a good way to think about it. However, uh, with work knives, this is the thing. When you do certain types of, of stuff with your knives during the day, like in construction and stuff, it doesn't matter what steel you have, the edge is going dull. It's kind of like, it doesn't matter if I have Maximet S110V, S90V, or 8CR. If I scratch that edge across a rock or a ceramic tile, guess what? All of them are going dull equally as fast. So, you know, considering that, it, sometimes, sometimes uh, with certain factory jobs and certain jobs, it's better to have a steel that you can easily maintain, easily strop back, easily, and I'm sure you could sharpen this back up if you wanted to, but what I would say is that just, just uh, strop it, you know, just strop it, keep it, keep, you know, uh, keep it sharp as long as possible, and then when you're ready, swap to the next blade. So you have a Tonto, drop point and another tanto blade shape they're all 440 they're all super thin now let's ch let's talk about how to take it out because it's super easy so all you do is what i do is i take my monterey bay knives driver just a regular driver and uh these are usa made by monterey bay knives which is really cool so all you do is you just put that over that loosen it up and then you just use it as a button push on it and then it just slides right out super super easy and then you can throw the tanto in there if you want to or whatever i would recommend putting a bit driver to it but you can do it by hand if you really want to and it feels nice and solid i mean i have a little bit of side to side but i bet that that is just in the pivot let me uh, see really quick it's a it's such a thin blade so i kind of expect it to have a little bit um, a play, yeah, you're gonna probably have a tiny, tiny bit of play, but nothing that uh, is gonna matter that much, especially like with a work knife like this. The things you're gonna push it through. Oh yeah, by the way, the ergonomics with the blade are really, really good. This thing passes through, because it has this Scandi grind on it, this thing passes through materials so good. Like it is beast mode cutting uh, performance. Now, like I said, you know, as long as you strop your, your steel back or the, the, the blade back, you should be able to keep it going for, for quite a while, I would imagine. Now, if you take a look around, it has great access to the lock bar, inset deep carry clip with flat screws and reversible. That's awesome. Um, milling on the inside to bring down the weight. You know, the thickness of the handle is really comfortable, really good in the hand, even with the deep carry clip, don't feel it. Um, and then, like I said, the geometry of the blade makes it, whew, man, this thing passes through really nicely. Very smooth on the drop, very snappy action, great detent really good action so you know all in all man they, they did a, a pretty good job on this considering the price and considering what you're getting i can totally stand by this now i will link everything i can down in the description so you guys can easily find this or any other information that i'm not maybe bringing up in the video you can just hit the link and you will get that information or if you want to purchase it the one thing is I kind of wish there was a sheep's foot or a worn cliff blade. That's one thing I think that they're kind of missing is a utility blade. You can get to the tip with this. This actually would make a fantastic 
hunting knife as well. So that's another thing this, this thing would be fantastic for considering the, um, the blade shape. You got this nice amount of belly. So yeah, like I said, I'm, I'm super impressed. I'm definitely going to be giving some of these to friends that do construction and work in factories and stuff because to me, like this is like a perfect knife for them. Not only can they always have a sharp edge, the one problem I do, I have to say, I, there was one problem. I can't find where to buy new replacement blades. So you might just have to buy a whole new knife, but it's pretty affordable for getting three blades, you know, and the, the entire package. So, you know, you can just probably just, just get a whole brand new package, but uh Anyways, I think this is the four colors it comes in. I think this is the only four colors. So, you know, if you're a hunter or something, you might want the orange. If you're, you know, doing construction and stuff, you know, possibly orange too. But I think it's pretty cool. And I think for a lot of people that are not good at sharpening and are probably never going to learn to sharpen or are using a knife that is going to go dull instantly anyways, you know, because of the things that they do with their knives, which, you know, I used to be that guy on the job site. You know, I'd buy a knife and the day I started using it, man the edge was completely wrecked and when you don't know how to resharpen it you know having a replacement blade is really really nice and that's why you know all construction workers have their utility blade right with a replacement blade but this gives you it in a pocket knife package because there's so many times when you're on the job where your utility blade isn't going to cut it and you need an actual pocket knife so anyways there you guys go until next time peace